piano every time I walk through the city. This is what happens. We're recruiting cops now? Are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, aren't we usually on the other side? Look, I know it's unusual, but I don't think Law is a typical cop, you know. All cops are the same. Don't be fooled. Hey, at least she's not Albion. She's on our side, and she might just surprise you. Fine. But the first sign of a double cross from her, I'm out. This is a message for dead sake. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. If you see Malik, tell him. Canada House was destroyed by a series of explosions, and an individual known to be part of the dead sec organization was seen on CCTV attempting to flee the area. SIRS new director of counterterrorism, Richard Malik, issued the following statement. I call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the dead sec threat with all due vigilance. They are not a resistance. What are they resisting? They are an international terrorist militia. And along with my counterparts in the Five Eyes Nations, I am building an... You get the idea. You're fucked. We've been hunted like animals. We may have to take him out. Yes, I wouldn't recommend that. All scenarios show DedSec's odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found. Malik probably worked out the same thing. Actually, we've been thinking about that. Bagley, on screen. Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, materiel and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your missions list has been updated. Hey, one more thing. I know Malik's currently our best lead on Zero Day and the bombings, but he's fucking dangerous. If you see him, don't try to take him alive. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombings outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated. Got a potential recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. Public approval of SIRS shot up today following counter terror director Malik's statement that the Five Eyes nations will execute a coordinated global response to the DedSec threat. Mr. Malik, what is the service doing to protect the people of Britain right now? Well, we're aiming a little higher than just Britain. Soon we can know if anyone in any CTOS using country in the world so much as utters the word DedSec. Thank you. SIRS advises citizens that positive discussions of the DedSec terrorist organization or their actions may result in investigation. I'm here. What's the plan? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik Dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. All right, so what do we do? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Sir, uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information. 
information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, but you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom instantly. Nice one, Bugs. Break in and connect Bagley to a filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual. this. Stand down, mate. friend's just been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favourite operative today. Yeah, that'll happen. Okay, let's go. Access the filament admin terminal from your optic interface. You'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. 
Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their MO. What are you talking about? I want DedSec gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Ooh, as tempting as it is to join Zero Day, it's gonna be a no fucking way from me, Doc. Zero Day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? Huh? What? Uh, what about me? What? Sorry? I tuned you out a while ago. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. Once again.
at last, you scrub. This has got to happen. Go jerk yourself off, you jerk off. Time for the big guns. And by gun, I mean hammer. That awesome. Sent need a 1013. It's clear. I'll see what could have set off the alarm. That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access.
You want me to bring the hammer down? seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Uh, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. All right, let's hear some ideas. Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Snack drones down, server room unlocked, and buggery fuck, Malik has locked me out. He must have a hard line to the server. So, what are we thinking? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Okay, great. I'll just unplug it and plug it back in. Close enough.
about this drone. It can't seem to take a fucking hint. This isn't a picnic and I haven't got any jam. Time for the big guns. And by gun, I mean hammer. Could you shoot this drone down? I'd ask it politely to go away, but I'm afraid I don't speak dipshit. Would you look at this? A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik. Hell, the one region. That doesn't prove a thing. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bomb were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny, that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable that notion, sick. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the Secretary. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had his daughter stuck in a Cairo jail? And that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. We have here, straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side ops you've been running. Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bob Conspiracy Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Beautiful. Now let's show this prick what DedSec's all about. With pleasure. Seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Do it! All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right. Wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh, look. Seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry. There's no way that's going to... Oh, no. It worked. Oi! What the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? 
That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. We need updated security. So what now? I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear DedSec's name. At least for this particular thing. What about you know who? Made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. Well, can someone tell me why we don't just fucking finish him? Believe me, I'd love to. But he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. So, Malik, you bombed the embassy, you did those earlier bombings, and you tried taking over Sirs. So, here's my question to you. What the fuck's your problem? The earlier bombings? What are you... Oh, God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. Okay, but you knew things about Zero Day when we met. I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you really not thought of this? You know what? I believe you. But I'm gonna leave you in there anyway, because it's funny. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. 
These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead sec. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next.